Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing slash review. Today we got the last of the Persona characters, or at least for now until they hopefully make more. So we're going to finish off the series with Haru who's been sh uh, stuck in Japan for like the whole year, but she's finally here, she's making her debut and I am excited to put her up on the shelf for like five minutes and then move her somewhere else because I need more space for the rest of the fake characters but uh you know since I've got the complete set maybe I'll take a picture or something you know just admire it for uh five minutes or something and then then move it on to uh my other shelves all right let's crack right into this oh it's been so long I can't believe we started this series like almost what six months ago now and now it's finally coming to an end but hopefully we will see Kasumi get a release soon, hopefully. I mean, the Royal's been out for a little while now, so... I don't know what their plan is, but given how well the others sold, I assume they're thinking about it for maybe next year? Alright, let's take a look here. Again, we've got the usual, like, back piece. I, I just won't show it off just because... I mean, I think we get the point of them at this point. Uh, we've got the floof all over and a chair which I mean let's face it all the others are in their um pull out attack final pose thing that's what we're gonna do with Haro as well and that's probably what the thumbnail is too uh is there tape for this somewhere yes there is that's a better place to grab I think it's kind of coming off. Okay, we got one off. Let's move down a bit. I've seen a lot of people use like two angles. I'm starting to understand why. For their videos at least. Okay. Well, let's take a quick look at what's in here. We've got her hat. Over here, complete with feather and all. Very nice. Is it magnetic? No, it looks like it's gonna just be one of those rested on top of the head hats. Alright, we've got the usual extra stand bit for uh, the Persona uh, back piece thingy. We've got the usual base, arm, extra neck bit, couple of hands, and then this chair. So I guess uh, you'll push, push the pe the peg through there and keep her on the chair. Nice. Okay. Oh, also, I probably haven't mentioned this, so let's mention it now. Um, I don't know if any of you really care for the music. I've got a couple of comments saying I should change up the music a bit more, so I'm gonna try not stick to like one set thing. You've probably noticed it in the last couple of videos, but. I've kind of just been picking random songs and just putting them in. So the dealio with that is I'm using like a copyright free music box version. Uh, you know, because YouTube algorithm is uh, not the best when it comes to fair use and all of that. So just to avoid it, I've been using like renditions instead of the actual songs. Um, so I'll probably from now on, I'll just use random, random songs that I can find. I'll download a bunch more and uh, spice it up a little. Uh, also, a uh, quick thing about the Fate stuff, uh, I mentioned that I'm going to do a video on rolling for Summer BB. I've had a thought about it, and I'm thinking maybe I won't do it right now, because uh, it seems like I think she's got better rates next year, as well as Waver is soon. And, I mean, if you you don't know what I'm talking about, well, Waver, Waver's like a big deal, so I'm going to save my stuff for him. I'll probably do a video on that, maybe in a week or two, one, whenever that event releases and his banners up. But anyway, back on to Haru. Ugh. Okay. Let's pull that out. Haru looks strange without her hat on. Like, she looks normal when she's in other outfits, but, like, just in the Phantom Thieves outfit, she just looks different. Like, this is a different person. Okay, let's put your head back on. Hopefully this will be 
the motivation I need to go and stop the Royal. But if it's not, then give me Kasumi and I'll definitely stop the Royal so I can unbox her and know who the heck she is. Alright, let's have a look at her. Very cool outfit. She's got the, the belt with the grenade. Uh, or shotgun, or uh, no, it was a uh, grenade. Grenade shells. Very cool. Very, um, classic thief kind of style. Alright. Eh. Faceplates, we got Angry Haru. Don't mess with Angry Haru. She'll come after your kneecaps. And uh, then we've got the Smiley Haru. She won't come after your kneecaps. We've got uh, the legs for sitting down over here. Let's see if we can get a focus. Pretty much the same thing, just bent and flat. Uh, we've got the bigger mask over there. We've got her axe, which is nicely detailed, surprisingly. Like, I haven't even noticed this in the game. Seems to have one of those crosses right in the middle. Very cool. We've got a grenade launcher. If I can pull it out. Also, very detailed. It's even got like all the kind of lines and stuff in the front. Dang. Way to, way to go all out. Good smile, even like the um, back thing. I don't know anything about guns, as you can tell. Uh, also, we've got the tea, the saucepan, and the holding the mask hand. All right, let's get into some poses then. All right, here's our first pose. The pretty much her introduction pose when she's uh, pointing out at the Phantom Thieves and, you know, accusing them of being villains and whatnot, and introducing herself as Beauty Thief. That was fun. Uh, very cute. I know there's like a rap song. Uh, instead of My Name is Shady, it's... Uh, my name is Beauty Thief, that song, if you've seen it. It's good stuff, go look it up on YouTube. But it's a very simple pose, it's pretty much just switch the hand out for the pointing one, uh, and switch the arm out for the one that goes forward, and that's pretty much it. Uh, also the hat, don't forget, it does lean forward a lot, but you know, once you've got the grooves right, you can just sort of line it up with these ones, that's what I did, and kind of just slide back until it kind of slots into place, and there you go, perfect. Also, the mask doesn't have kind of, um, like the same stuff the other masks had. The other masks, I'm pretty sure, were like, like the glasses and they kind of had pegs that would fit into place. Whereas this one is just, you kind of slot it into place and that's it. But it, it fits and it works well, so no complaints there. Just if it doesn't, you know, just push it a little further down and there you go, you get it in the right place and everything looks right. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that pose. Let's move on to the next one. All right, as per t tradition, I use the gun pose, even though I hate the gun poses because they're so hard to deal with. Um, I didn't even bother to do this one properly. She's not even holding it right. But, you know, you kind of get the idea. Do watch out because these things are uh, just a pain. I don't know how they made the Persona ones, but for some reason I just can't get the gun poses right except for those uh, single-handed pistol stuff. That was super easy. That was a nice breath of fresh air and Futaba not having a gun at all. But here's what the gun pose would kind of look like. Here's an idea of it. But uh, I personally wouldn't recommend you go for the gun poses alone just because of how much of a pain it is. Anyway, the way this one works is pretty much you, I've got the two arms that were bent right out of the box and use that. I have a feeling you're supposed to use a different arm or hand for this one here at least, just because of the angles. But I'm not entirely sure. Have a play around with it if you really want to get the gun pose. But uh, I'm kind of over it. Also, these things are on ball joints by the looks of it, making it easier to pose. So use that at, as discretion advised, I guess. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing like a good uh, ball joint to, to make life easier. Hopefully that's just, you know, a thing from now on. Good smile. You should totally do it because it works well. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the next pose. All right, here is the final pose for Haru. It's her all-out attack finishing pose. Very cool. I really like how it came out. Uh, the chair fits together well with the actual figure. The plate and the cup just kind of work. The cup doesn't have like a proper hand handle. 
instead of it having like you know the hole to put your finger through it's just got it, it's pretty much just a solid blank piece uh, I don't know how well you can see it but it just kind of slots into a hand and well I mean it works so no complaining here anyway uh, yeah pretty much you the way you get this about is use the bent arms switch out uh, the bottom legs for the sitting ones and that's pretty much it put it all together and then you're done and it comes out really well in my opinion honestly it's really cool I really like this one so that's what I'm gonna have a pose as anyway let's go on to the score uh, as usual I'm gonna take a full point because gun gun is not good gun is a pain to deal with so we'll take a one point for that other than that honestly this Nothing really wrong with this figure. All her poses are really great. It's got a uh, nice finish and all of that, and it really captures how Haru is. So I'm pretty happy with it. So a nine out of 10 for Haru. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, we're not gonna do that fate video this week. We'll probably do the waiver one in about a week or two. So if you're looking forward to that, sorry about that, but hopefully the waiver one will be enough to satisfy your appetite. Because, uh, let's face it, it's Waver. If you play Fate Grand Order, you know how big of a deal Waver is. So, we'll grab him, hopefully, in about a week or two, whenever that Fate Zero event starts. But for now, I'm going to go back to su Summer Farming. Oh god, Summer Farming. Anyway, I will catch you all in the next one. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more Android content, and I will see you all next time. Alright, bye!